Hello and welcome to another heat stroke game Star Wars Legion painting tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to paint the Pike Syndicate and get them to a nice tabletop standard so you can get them out there and ready to battle for your army. So the first thing I've done is a Zenith Prime and now I'm going to start working on the skin. And for that I'm using two parts Vallejo model color golden olive and one part Vallejo model color flat flesh. And you want to just get the you know, the arms or I'm sorry the hands, the feet and the on the pike that you can see them, you want to get the face plate. Next I'm going to come in with a 50-50 mix of Pro Acryl Blue and Vallejo Model Color Gray Blue. And for this I'm going to be doing all of the pants and the undershirt. You know, anywhere that you can see uh, blue is where this blue is going to go. And for now we're going to call these things socks. I'm not quite sure that they are, but they get to be socks today. Don't forget while you have this color out to get the headdress and the headdress does wrap around underneath so make sure you get that too. So now you see we're going to start working on the armor and for that we're going with a Pro Acryl Purple and Vallejo Model Color Violet in a 50-50 mix. You want to get any on the leader here, at least that front skull, that predator plate, the uh, pauldrons, the shin guards thing that, he's got, that they have, um, and anywhere that you see armor including that whole front chest plate. Now we're going to come in with a 50-50 mix of Pro Acryl Black and Vallejo Model Color Gunmetal Gray. And we're going to paint any of the weapons that the Pikes may be handling, save for the Electro Whip. And now any of the Pikes that have any sort of uh, holsters or belts, you want to come in with Vallejo Model Color Flat Brown. And what do we do when something's dirty? We wash it! So the first thing we're going to do is wash the skin from Citadel with Cassandori Yellow. You want to make sure that this doesn't pull too much. You want to get it in the recesses, uh, but not leave too much on the uh, raised areas. And next we're coming in with some Drakenhof Nightshade. And again, we're going to get all of the blue areas that we can see. Uh, we do, again, don't want it to pull. You can mess with it while it's wet, but 
you don't have a whole lot of working time otherwise you'll start to get some staining and some peeling so make sure that if you see anything pulling up somewhere that you don't want it you whip it away uh, otherwise all your hard work and your pikes are not going to look the way that you want them and of course we're coming in with some drukei violet now from citadel to get any of the armor or any of the purple plating that we have And now we're going to do the weapons with some Vallejo model color black wash. The more layers you put down, the darker the weapons are going to be. So this is a layer at your own taste. And finally, we're going to do some Seraphim Sepia onto any of the leather pieces, the belts, the holsters, etc. And now we get to come in and do everything that we did. Just do it again. <laughs> uh, now we're going to do the belts and the holsters. We're going to come in with the flat brown. And you want to leave the wash in the recesses. And then highlight with some of the orange brown. Um, I didn't get that. It was out of focus. So I do apologize. Uh, but here we're going to do the skin with that golden olive and flat flesh. And I'm just going to add more flat flesh to the golden olive to get the highlights and get the edges uh, and make it a pop a little bit more. And then once I get to a level that I like with just that golden olive and flat flush, I'm going to add just a hint of the Pro Acryl golden yellow to get the very edges, anything that I want to really stand out with that yellow. I don't want to add too much because it will overpower, but you can always add to your taste. Now I'm going to come in and do a dry brush of all the weapons with just the Vallejo model color gun model gray. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with dry brushing, dip your paint in, or dip your brush in your paint and get almost all of it off using a paper towel and then paint whatever item you want to paint with it. Now I'm going to come in and start highlighting the undersuit and again we're going to do that gray blue and blue mix. And I want to leave the wash in the recesses, so I don't want to completely paint over everything. But I do want to start highlighting the folds in the pants and around the shoulders. But, but mainly the pants. You're going to see that I kind of go a little bold with the pants and around the edges of the head wrap. And I'm going to add some sky blue into that base color and I want to start really getting some of the edges here. Uh, you don't want to get too much, you do want to leave some of that under color 
showing. Uh, so I want to get the very tips of some of these wrinkles in the pants and the undershirt and the headdress. Next thing we want to do is start to highlight the armor. So we're going to go back to that purple and violet base color that we have and just start painting up most of the armor, again leaving the shading in the recesses. And here I'm going to come in with some blue violet and this is kind of a flavor to your own taste and I want to do some edge highlighting with that blue violet. That and it looks a lot brighter than it does when it's dry so if you think it's a little too bright make sure you let your paint dry before you completely change what you've been working on uh, so i'm just gonna get some edges here in some places where i feel that the sun would be catching the syndicate leader um, and i'm gonna do some blending here on the shoulders and again, I'm going to do a little bit of that on the front faceplate. Uh, that's where I want to draw a lot of the focus of the miniature. I want your eyes to look at the faceplate of the leader here. And then I'm going to come in with some of the Army Painter Bright Gold to paint his front emblem. Uh, you can obviously do any sort of color you want to here, but I wanted to have him stand out just a little bit and make him look a little more regal. Base your minis in however you choose to, and you have your Pike Syndicate ready to take the field. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful, and if so, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And until next time, embrace your geek.